We are back with the last, potentially last edition of the John Wick Quilogy. Yes, I know I made up a word, Quilogy, but let's go with it. We are here for the last John Wick Quilogy. And did it live up to the high expectations that we have for the John Wick series? Listen to find out. Welcome to Cine here, where you come for all of your media needs. My name is Ray, and today I am reviewing John Wick Chapter 4. Directed by Chad Sahelski, starring Keanu Reeves, Donnie Yen, and Bill Skarsgård. John Wick Chapter 4 is about John Wick finally trying to get the last ounce of vengeance that he has left for the round table. I think the most important question that you have to ask after watching a John Wick film, I think the reason why everybody came to this review is to hear about the action. That is what John Wick franchise has laid upon. It is laid upon action, nonstop, unrelenting action. And did this film live up to what all of the other films have done in the past? And the answer to that question is yes, this film is action packed. And I don't see how, but they continue to give you different ways to dis not only dismantle, but kill people. John Wick is a special kind of assassin, the likes in which we have rarely seen in cinema. And this film is a culmination of all of the other films that came before this one. We have seen him use a pencil. We have seen him use relic old weapons. And now, to me, the biggest and best action scene in this film, obviously this is still spoiler free, is a scene that is on the street. I think the street scene was by far the best action scene probably in the series, in my opinion. And this is just another mark in Keanu Reeves' many amazing action films. Now, Keanu Reeves might not be the best actor. He's not. He is not the best actor. But when a director gets with Keanu Reeves and say, listen, we don't even want you to do a lot of dialogue. You will not have a lot of lines. We just want you to do that action thing that you are so good at. He makes wonderful movies when he does that. He is at his best when he delivers minimum dialogue and gives a ton of action. If the John Wick franchise didn't show you this, the Matrix franchise didn't show you this, what else can Keanu Reeves do to continue to show you that he is one of the best action stars? And who did John Wick go up against in his last film? No other than Kane, who was played by the phenomenal and legendary Donnie Yen, and he brought everything <laughs> that you wanted from him. And he actually looks incredible for his age as well. I, Donnie Yen is a old man, and he is somehow still putting on phenomenal action films and action scenes. Now, another thing that John Wick does not get credit for, they always tend to put an amazing black assassin in their film. First, we got Common, then we got Holly Berry, and in this film, we have Shamir Anderson. And I think that he played a good role in this film. I think from the actor standpoint, everybody, even Keanu Reeves, did a fine job. This is not one of those films where you come for acting, though. You come for action. And Samir Anderson delivered on that front. He held up the same mantle as Common did. He held up the same mantle as Holly Berry did. And he also brought a dog along with it. They know how much we love those dogs in the third film. And they gave us another one in the fourth film. Kudos to Chaz Sahelski for understanding the assignment. Overall, the pacing of this film was fine. It always took a little break between the action to give you a little of the story and get you right back into the action. I only thought it dragged off a little bit towards the end of the second act going to the third act. There was 
uh, a little bit longer of a pause between the action than I maybe have wanted because we really don't need a lot of dialogue and we don't need a lot of storytelling in the fourth installment of John Wick. Everything is already laid out. We know the goal once it was laid out at the beginning of this film and now we just want to get there. I love the small moments of brief intermission in between the action, but I did not like that one, just it was one time, that one prolonged sequence of non-action with that being said i'm going to keep this short and sweet because this film just deserves less of me and more of you going to watch it i'm gonna give this film an 8.3 out of 10 i think that john wick is by far easily the best action film this year i know we are still in the early part of the year but it is something that probably won't get toppled for the rest of the year. Now, where does this fall at in the John Wick series? I think that it is the best film of the John Wick series. Where does this fall at in the pantheon of action films? Like, is this as great as action films, in my opinion? Like, The Matrix, another film that kind of reads did. No, if you like this review, make sure that you give it a like. If you enjoy my content and the reviews that I put out, make sure you follow or subscribe to this page so you can get so much more content now i have to hear what you think about john wick 4 i need to know if you think that this film is the best or which john wick film is the best for you and don't forget you've seen it here